Well, someone who is trying to encourage more young people to wear face masks is boxer turned businessman David Hay. David has spent lockdown designing his own range of face coverings, which he says will help teenagers and young people get on board. Morning to you, David. Morning, I bet David. When you finished your boxing career, you never thought that you'd be coming out with a brand new face masks business, did you? None of us thought we'd be here, did we? <laughs> No, we didn't at all. And um, it was a very unique situation I found myself in. In January, a friend of mine from Vietnam said, you know, is, how is it in the UK? And it was fine. There was no panic from COVID-19. And But in Vietnam, they really locked down. They really they closed the borders from China, from the rest of the world. And as a result of that, they have zero deaths from COVID-19. 91% of the population, in April there was a study, wear face masks, washable face masks. So maybe they, maybe there's something to that. Over here in the UK, we're just now adopting face masks. The laws just changed today. Mm -hmm. um, so what mask do you wear? Do you wear a mask that you see a doctor wearing, a disposable mask, a mask that's supposed to be used for operations? If you look at Vietnam, who've had zero deaths, as I said, they use washable masks, masks that are eco-friendly, made of cotton, comfortable, three layers. They've been wearing them for 20 years. So after 20 years of a country using masks, you know, as part of their culture, they, their government, the Vietnamese government, made a specific mask this year for their police department. And fortunately, I've been able to adapt it slightly, making it a fashionable thing for younger people and a, a mask that does what it says on the tin and, you know, looks OK. I know you're both Rochelle and or I know you're both very fashion conscious. <laughs> so if you had to wear a mask, would you want to wear a mask that, you look like you're going to a doctor's surgery or something that looks stealth, looks looks Yeah, sharp. of course. And like you say, with the three layers, and we we were just we just literally just spoke about then, I'm sure you heard, that works, you know, that you're that you're doing the right thing. I think what's what what's been important uh, to you doing this, uh, David, is that you wanna encourage young people because I think there's a lot of young people that just think they're exempt. And, you know, it doesn't, they, you know, they're young, we're not going to get it, it doesn't really matter. I think that's been the vibe. Yeah. So I think, that, I think that's been really important to you, hasn't it? It's not about me telling people to wear masks. They have to, it's just the law. I'm just giving them an eco-friendly option. You know, the disposable masks that you get from a sweet shop that cost a pound, two pound, three pound, they're, they're made to be used for a couple of hours, then put in the bin. These ones, are, you can put them in your pocket, you can, you can use them for 30 washes. You know, they keep his antibacterial properties for 30 washes. And it's something we're only now getting the science to say we're three layers. They've been doing this for 20 years in Vietnam and they've got zero deaths. So maybe there's a slight connection between the type of mask they use and the, the spread of any go. type. Yeah. OK. Thank you. Thank you, David. Thank you very much and well done. Thank and, you very uh, much. We will also love you forever for saying that we are both fashion people. <laughs> yes. <David. laughs> Especially <laughs> company.com is where you can get them. And if you're doing kids' size, I'll send you guys some for the kids as Thanks, well. Thanks, Thank, Thank you, you very much.